Now then, I'm officially calling it. This year's big theme at CES was cars. And as always, it's often the most outrageous concepts that grab all the headlines. Rinspeed has previously proposed a car with its own deployable drone. Hmm. Well, now it's got one that has a space age cockpit with more glass than a greenhouse, which is quite fortunate because it has a garden in the dashboard. Yes, that's a garden in the dashboard. Why? Well, so you get a nice smell when you're driving, of course, and you can even take part of it with you when you go shopping. Don't forget to switch the fan on so you get that lovely whiff. Actually, a lot of the more serious car stuff is happening in small steps, incrementally, so it's harder to grab the headlines. That said, Mark Chislak has just been for a couple of extraordinary drives. There's a certain German car maker that boasts of building the ultimate driving machine. But here at CES 2017, most of the motor manufacturers seem intent on building the ultimate self-driving machine. It isn't just motor manufacturers that are showing off self-driving vehicles here. They're doing it with the help of tech companies as well. This vehicle is fitted with a system called BB-8, which has been created by NVIDIA, the company most famous for manufacturing high-end graphics chips. Artificial intelligence software, which learns, helped by sensors, have trained BB-8 to be able to make driving decisions. Here, an obstacle has just appeared in the route that we were going to take to get to the other end of this track. The car has decided that they not drive into that obstacle, so it's driven around it. And now the obstacle is going to be gone on the next time round on the circuit. So let's see what decision the car makes then. Here we go. It carries on driving down the road. NVIDIA is partnering with Audi to introduce similar technologies into its future models. Driving around a car park is one thing, but how do these autonomous vehicles perform out on real roads? Electronic supplier Delphi has partnered with driver assistance and sensor outfit Mobileye, who created a mini fleet of autonomous Audi SUVs, which are driving around Vegas during CES. There are 24 different sensors spread out across the body of this car which allow it to drive autonomously. And what I'm struck by is that you don't notice any of them. You can't really see any of those sensory devices. They're hidden. This car is an indicator, if you like, of how autonomous vehicles will look in the future, which is pretty much like any car does in showrooms today. Those sensors include LiDAR, radar and cameras all around the vehicle. Here we can see what the car sees through them, identifying other vehicles as well as pedestrians and behaving accordingly as it weaves its way through traffic. So I'm a rear passenger in the back of this self-driving car and so far zero dramas apart from looking forward and noticing that the driver doesn't have his hands on the steering wheel. I could be forgiven for thinking that I'm actually being driven around by a human being. The thing is, we've been driving around in prototype self-driving cars for a couple of years now. How long is it going to be before cars like this are available to buy in showrooms? There, there is a, quite a wide consensus among the industry that 2021 is the time where the technology will be ready and after a number of years where society will start gaining confidence in, these, in, in this kind of technology, then society would be at the point where the driver can be completely out, out of the loop. With that 2021 goal in mind, Mobileye announced that in partnership with BMW and Intel, it will be testing 40 autonomous vehicles on real American and European roads in the second half of this year. So the countdown has begun. Autonomous automobiles are most definitely on their way. That was Mark with what we think is the most complete autonomous driving system that we've seen so far. Now, if you're looking forward to your fully self-driving car, there is a problem. At the moment in the US, there are 320 million cars on the road, but they only make about 16 million new cars every year, which means even if from today, every car that was manufactured was fully autonomous, it would still take at least 20 years to refresh the entire fleet. So here's 
an idea. What about retrofitting your existing car to make it self-driving? Well, this is Xmatic, and this is a system that does that. It's still in prototype at the moment, which explains the hilarious computer under the driver's seat there. But what you will do is stick a LiDAR sensor on your roof, a couple of cameras in the windscreen, and then I guess the most important parts are the robotic wheel, which turns the steering wheel here, and the levers, which operate the pedals. And this could be an interesting interim solution while you are waiting for your fully autonomous car for about 20 years. Replacing the entire fleet of vehicles is one aspect of the problem. The other aspect is the fact that 90% of the vehicle remains the same. All the mechanical parts are pretty much the same, the parts that get you around. And so in order to add the brain, you'd have to chuck the entire car and get a whole new car. And what we're saying is you, you keep your car and we give you the brains. Now, if you're someone who prefers the wind to be rushing through your hair, CES also offers plenty for riders as well as drivers.